The Benchmade 940-1. Benchmade makes some of the highest quality production knives in the world. There's something about Benchmade, the design, the quality, that just trips my trigger. And that's no different than this 940-1. Uh, the original 940 uh, is different. There are a lot of different upgrades that have been made to the 940-1. Uh, the original 940 had S30V steel, which is a very high quality stainless steel, premium stainless steel. Uh, had aluminum scales and a closed in back. And an excellent knife, very popular. But Benchmade released the 940-1, and I'm going to show you some of the upgrades and some of the features of really this beautiful knife that's really perfect for EDC. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice immediately is these are not aluminum scales. These are carbon fiber. It's a very beautiful design. It still retains the same shape that the 940 had on the aluminum scales, but now with carbon fiber, which reduces the weight considerably. Uh, the weight on this knife is 2.44 ounces, which really makes it great for EDC. Uh, the carbon fiber, which typically when you look at carbon fiber, you think maybe that it may be um, a little fragile, but really carbon fiber for EDC holds up extremely well. It keeps its look longer than even aluminum. Aluminum gets scratched and bumped up. If you have a really nice anodized finish on it, it can hold up well. But one of the things that I really love about this, though, is because of the lightweight and the way it feels. It's not so metallic and it's not so cold in your hands. Uh, it is a very ergonomic feel to it, and we're going to look at that once we deploy the blade. The design of the carbon fiber is just excellent. It really makes this knife more of a gentleman's knife, in my opinion. Now, one of the other big upgrades was in the steel content of the 940-1 over the 940. And we're going to go ahead and deploy the blade. Very smooth deployment. It does sport the bronze washers. Makes it really slick. But also, you can see that it has the axis lock, which is proprietary to Benchmade. Uh, this lock is super strong, and yet you can see that it closes very well very smooth very slick with minimal effort by the way uh, one of the things you're going to notice though is i'm getting underneath the thumb stud and um, that's one of the things about the original 940 it had these divots here that allowed you to get your finger to the thumb stud this way but you're not really going to be able to actuate the thumb studs from the side and one of the reasons beside not having those uh, cutouts is that the thumb studs actually are recessed a little below the scales. And so I found that the way I'm deploying this blade effectively is getting underneath it right here. And really, I'm using a little force there, but it doesn't take a lot of force. Very minimal effort, and it just glides right out. It is the reverse Tanto design, and that is one of Warren Osborne's signature designs. Uh, there are other reverse tanto designs, but this one is really more of the American reverse tanto. Uh, it does sport more of a belly than many of your standard reverse tantos that have more of a sharper angle here, and then the edge comes straight across. Uh, similar to the Warncliffe design. And I really like the Warncliffe design because it has a very strong tip. Now, that's one of the things about this design, and if you'll look... It has a really strong tip design. You have it coming up and it's full width of the blade very shortly after the tip. But then because of the swedge right here, it's got a really neat thinness to this blade. And then it thickens back out to the width of the blade. It has ambidextrous thumb studs. You can see right there. We have the Benchmade logo on one side. We have the Osborne boomerang logo here and then S90 V steel. Now one of the things about S90 V is it is a premium stainless steel. It is strong in vanadium and carbon. Now it is actually out of the whole Benchmade line S90 V has the most vanadium of any other knife. In fact it has more than double the vanadium content than the S. 30V, which the S30V is an excellent steel. And it also has considerably more carbon. Now that's going to give it a lot of strength. 
and it's going to be able to keep an edge a long time. But one of the downsides, if you want to call it a downside, because you're going to not have to sharpen this often because it holds the edge, but it can be a little more difficult, a little more care it's going to take to sharpen it. One of the beautiful things, though, about Benchmade is they have the Life Sharp, which you can send your knife back to Benchmade with $5, and they'll resharpen your knife for the lifetime of the blade, and they'll go ahead and maintain and check all of your up. Uh, points and make sure there's nothing going on with your knife just have it well maintained so it's a great service from Benchmade it has stainless steel liners and then it comes up and you can see where the jimping comes through and then also jimping right here so it gives you a really nice index finger to thumb purchase on the knife and then deployed this knife really fits the hand well very comfortable uh, the the uh, carbon fiber scales are, again, they're kind of warm. They're not so cold as a metallic aluminum. And it just really has a very soft, nice feel to it. Holding in the stainless steel liners, you have your torque screws here and here. And then it has aluminum blue barrel spacers. Just a very nice touch. It is an open design, so it's going to keep all the lint and the other things that get in your pocket and keep the knife a little cleaner. I know if you're like me and it has the closed design, things get up in there, lint, pocket dust, everything under the sun. This is an upgrade over the original 940, which has a closed back design. Going back to the Axis lock, it gives a really strong locking system. In fact, it's one of the strongest in the industry. Uh, one of the things it also does, it has zero blade play. And I mean zero. I have to, I'm bending the tip and not wobbling at all right here at this joint. So it's going to have a very strong blade uh, contact and that's going to be really nice for cutting. You're not going to have to be concerned at all about loosening and wobble. Just excellent. Smooth, slick. And Benchmade is made in Oregon City, Oregon, USA. Benchmade USA is their standard Benchmade pocket clip. Uh, you can move this to the other side for left hand carry or right hand. The clip rides in your pocket with just enough to be able to grab it easily and then deploy it. One of the great things too about the axis lock, if you deploy the axis lock, you can actually bring your knife out really quickly that way. Easy to open, easy to close, easy to fit in your pocket. It does have more of the anodized or parkerized finish. Uh, a lot of them have baked on finishes that seem to uh, flake off. This is going to wear very nicely. All the high points are going to get a, just a nice little sheen to it, and it makes it just really look nice. The blade length is 3.4 inches. The blade thickness is 1.15 inches, which is about an eighth of an inch. The handle thickness is under a half inch at 0.41 inches. The overall length is 7.89 inches, just under 8 inches, and then closed 4.47 inches. Now, not only does Benchmade have the Life Sharp guarantee, which they'll sharpen your knives, they also have a lifetime warranty with the original purchaser of your knife. Benchmade, I think once you own one, you'll find out why these are so popular, and the quality to me is just unsurpassed. I mean, there are a lot of great knife companies out there. I own a number of different type knives that are good quality knives. But for a good quality production knife, it's going to be hard to beat Benchmade. The retail price on the Benchmade 940-1 is $310. Uh, this is a premium knife for EDC. Uh, on the Going Gear website, they're $263.50. Then you get a 10% discount using Such at checkout. One of the great things about Marshall is he is a premium Benchmade dealer. He sells a lot of Benchmade knives. In fact, the 940-1 is a particularly popular Benchmade knife. In fact, Marshall said he's had a hard time keeping these in stock. But one of the good things of being a Benchmade premium dealer is he has just received a nice selection of the 940-1. Now, if you'd rather go with the 940, uh, they run $215 retail, $182.75 on the Going Gear website. And again, you can get the 10% discount on whatever you order at Going Gear with the Such discount. Uh, also, you get free shipping for any orders in the continental U.S. over $49. So it's a great way to get a really high quality knife 
and also you can throw in a couple of flashlights because they have over 800 different models of flashlights on their website. So if you want a perfect EDC knife, I think that the 940-1 with the weight, the blade shape, keeping an edge like it does, I think this is a fantastic option for a premium gentleman's knife, but it's great for everyday carry. That's just sweet. What a work of art. Beautiful. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. That is their standard, what is the blue class? And that is one of the big things. Uh, there are companies out there, I don't want to say that. So these are really premium, high quality, I don't want to say all that. I don't need to say all that. I just don't need to say that.